What up, the man, them, the man, them, bro? How's it going, Scottish? Guys, welcome back to Rama Vlogs 2019. Today is currently vlog. I want to say vlog six, but I'm not 100 percent sure. I don't understand how I lose count. I don't know why. I just feel super exhausted right now. I think it must have been because it's been a difficult week, a busy week, and then on top of that, going gym and then doing everything that you do normally and. It just adds up and then makes you feel proper exhausted because you get up so early and then your sleeping patterns are all over the place. <sighs> right, let's go get some food. I think I'm just gonna have wheat bits today again because surprisingly, I didn't feel hungry. I had three wheat bits. I thought oh, I might struggle because you know wheat bix is like that big, um, but I was fine. I was able to eat. Oh yes, me jabna the ye jahan jabna tha, chand sura jinna the asma jabna tha. Jabna tha kuch yaha tha, magar tu hi tu. Nyao 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 nyao. Allahu Allahu Allahu. Kha lete hain, naasa kar lete hain. Bismillah karke, Bismillah. Got tail in my hair. Not like a breath. Look like a slow, but... <coughs> you know when the water's so cold it hits you in the back of the throat? Woo! Kajur, 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 eh kajur. You know like when you like a sweet so much as a child, I feel like I'm like that with these. But these are seasonal. <laughs> Kudari dates. Mmm. Mmm. Guys, you know what? Comment down below your favourite Nas because I genuinely think that is probably my all-time favourite. One second. Guys, comment down below and let me know what your favourite Nas is because for me, I feel more like it still is literally my top. I mean, obviously, I like other, other, other ones as well, but I just feel like there's something about more like yourself just makes me feel like really happy and I don't know. It's just, it's just my favourite. What's your favourite? Do you agree with, oh, do you agree with more like yourself? Or do you have another one? Uh, comment down below and I will have a look and I will listen to them as well. Go on, I've got to have my meds. Right, squad, um, it's time to read them out, so I'm going to quickly read them out and then get into bed. And I'm glad that tomorrow's a weekend for me. While you guys are watching this, is it Sunday? I'm trying to figure this out. Hang on, it's Friday, Friday morning. So I'm going to vlog it. Yeah, so it's Sunday for you guys, which is quite bad because then... Does that mean you guys have got Monday? will be tomorrow for you. This is complicated to work out. But it's Saturday for me, so I'm so glad that I get to rest. And, uh, yeah, have a lie-in. But I shall catch you guys tomorrow. Make sure you... you oh, hang on. But, yeah, guys, I will catch you guys tomorrow. Good night and shabbat Oh. Hey, Good morning, guys. I'm so happy. It's the weekend. I've literally slept so much normally i don't get to sleep that much because you know you you know obviously you guys know sari and then you wake up for work college school whatever university uh but alhamdulillah i got a good uh solid eight nine hours sleep which is really good for me actually uh and the weather's actually decent it's got blue clear blue skies which is well it hasn't been like this for a while in leeds Right guys, I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful evening. I know this because I released these in the evening. Actually, you could actually watch it whenever. So, hope you're having a wonderful day, evening, morning, Sahari, Iftar, whatever it is. What am I doing? I've got not, I've not got much, to, I've actually not got much to do today, but I'm, I want to make sure the vlogs are edited and my, my plan throughout the week is good because if I'm not planned that, then I get left behind and then it's hard to keep on top of this because I'm releasing two videos a week during Ramadan, like doing the Rama vlogs and then the comedy skits as well. Um, so I just need to make sure they're all organised and everything's everything's happening the good way. What are your plans? What It's actually Sunday today, so you guys have got school, college or university or whatever work tomorrow. Um, so yeah, right now I'm just going to go, I need to go to, go to the gym. I need to go see, oh, there's a giveaway. Guys, watch out for the giveaway. Uh, I need to go see Hina Zara, and uh, they come back and edit. Oh, right, it's a busy day, let's do this. I am in St. Salim, and if you guys don't know who these guys are, make sure you head over and follow them. They're, they're based on Roundy Roads and Leeds, and they make some of the best ouds, some of the best musks as well. And I'm gonna explain what it is, and I'm happy to announce that they're actually gonna be sponsoring the giveaway. Now, let me explain to you what's in the giveaway. One second, let me put you down. To the giveaway is really simple. All you need to do is head downstairs in the description and follow their Instagram page. It's as simple as that, and follow mine. You should already be following mine. Uh, but follow my Instagram, follow their Instagram, and you could win uh, this, uh, 
this little giveaway. Now, this is actually would make a beautiful Eid present. So, like for your mum, for your dad, for your brother. So, uh, yeah, it's really simple. Follow and like. But let me explain to you what's in the box. Right, so in the box, you have St. Salim's Oud. Now, Elias, what's the Oud? Oud is made out of uh, trees. Uh, yeah, eight trees in Thailand, Cambodia. He knows, he knows his stuff, man. So this is what oud is, but... Once you, they've distilled the oud, they turned into oud oils. Boom! And some of them can go up to 2,000, 3,000 pounds. Is that 2,000 pounds? But this one's 1,600 pounds for 12 Mate! Yeah, yeah. Look how expensive that... So oud is very expensive, very pricey, but it smells beautiful. Uh, like that one there is 1,600 pounds. That's mad. So it comes from this, and it gets made into these beautiful scenting oils. Also have musk. You have a little musk in here, which comes from deer. Um, that's really nice, that smells beautiful. You also have a key ring, which is like this big. I mean, if that was on your key, you probably wouldn't lose your keys. Um, <laughs> so big. Uh, you have some air freshness from St. Salim, and also some Oud towels, all in the giveaway. So make sure, guys, you go down below and follow St. Salim, follow me, and you can be entered into the giveaway, and it could potentially be a need present, so make sure you do it. This is Ilias Salim, he yes, came up with all of this. Um, Masha doing really well. Where have you got your blood leads? We've got Leeds Road. Um, in Bradford, Leeds Road, Bradford. next to Audi's, and then we've got. Uh, Is that open now? That's open. It's been oh, two weeks. Nice. Yeah, it's a really big shop down. Nice. And then we've got we supply. We've got 50, 60 ambassadors in the UK. So Massive, every right? city there's an ambassador, and Massive. then we've got another big office in Leicester. Massive. They distribute everything around in Birmingham and Midlands. Yeah. So Alhamdulillah, they're doing really well. Make sure you follow them, guys, and you know, be a part of their journey because it's actually a beautiful setup and. Lovely people as I'll well. Show you, I'll show you one more Kaaba cloth from last year. This is the Hajj. Oh, this is the Kaaba cloth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So one of the sheikhs gifted it to wow. me. Wow. And this is the Kaaba Atar. And you know, Sheikh Yusuf from Medina University gave an award for this. Wow. So he said one of the closest Atar al Kaabas around. Wow. So Let's smell it. whoever's been Saudi, they know how the Kaaba cloth smells. Um, oh, that smells really nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So sweet it's like musk, rose, and mixed together. And we got an award for that. Did nice. you? Mashallah. Like, Oud is like a big thing. A lot of big places are doing it now. Like, they're selling it in selfies. All of these big places are doing it. But this is more authentic. Um, so we also create fragrances for people. So, clients will come, they'll say, okay, I like jasmine, rose, patchouli, and we can make it for them in these bottles. So, they choose their bottles, we can make it for them. And then we do gift items, beard oils, you know, candles. Do you do beard oils? Yeah, yeah, beard oils are here. Beard oils are here. These are the testers and the we do gift boxes as well for the beard oils. So these gift sets can actually get quite expensive, uh, but we're giving two of these away. So if you miss this one, don't worry, there's another one. But make sure you do enter because it is a lovely gift and it's quite beautiful as well and it's nicely packaged. So make sure you enter. I literally just need to start organizing myself because I feel like it's slightly bent, but it'll work. I feel like if I don't, I'm just going to get left behind. Like organization and planning is so key in making sure you, you are on track because. Like you guys know, if you are in university or you are in A-level or you're doing your GCSE exams, which the period is now coming on. Actually, it's Sunday, so if you've got exams uh, tomorrow, if your GCSE starts tomorrow, I wish you all the luck, uh, make sure you revise and work hard and inshallah will pay off. Um, it's so key just organising and getting things sorted. Like I've got so many little projects going on. I've literally made an Excel spreadsheet. I don't know if you got an Excel spreadsheet of how what's happening because everything's so manic and every time I need to like think about what's next I just look on the street <sighs> but right now it is 18 minutes past 6 I need to go to the gym and then inshallah then Rosa will be opened uh, we'll come back have a shower uh, edit the vlog Rosa's open and then it's Taravia time it's just busy Acha, I can see that the entire gym car park is empty there's literally one car but everyone's fasting, that's why the guys are jinxed the weather, it's raining. I really don't want to go gym in this weather, but I'm gonna have to. <sighs> Let's get those gains. Alright, guys, it is almost time to open Rosa. I still not got a calendar on the fridge. Mom, I need to bring a calendar today, I keep forgetting, honestly. Um, but I think the Rosa opened in like three, four minutes. Um, so, yeah, guys, table's all set. Make sure you do your dua, make sure you're thankful for everything that you have. I remember that what we have.
I've literally just prayed, I need to go downstairs and eat properly. You know what, when Rosa opens, I always have fruit first, and then I read my namaz, and then I come upstairs, end the vlog, get the vlog exported, and then I eat, and then I go to Ravia. So I've still got to eat and go to Ravia. Oh, I've still got to edit the vlog, finish editing the vlog, go to eat, and then go to Ravia. <sighs> and then afterwards, I've got a lot of planning and stuff to do. Guys, what I said earlier, make sure you plan your day. If you have got GCSE exams, and your exams are starting tomorrow, <clears throat> then make sure you plan your revision and you plan your sleep. And especially if you're fasting, make sure you have a good structured plan to get you through it all. Because if you don't, you will not be efficient and you won't be effective. That's what you need to understand. Because with planning, you're able to figure out what's best, what's the best option, how you can be efficient and effective, and how you can achieve the best um, you know that you're not revising and nothing's going in. Go take a walk. Go do another job. I don't know. Maybe go help your mom, help your dad, do whatever, and then get back to revision. Obviously, prioritize revision if you've got GCSE exams and A level exams and all that jazz. Um, but honestly, a question I get asked the most is, how are you so? How do you? How how are you able to do so much? And the simple answer is, is because I plan my time effectively and efficiently because. With the amount of things that we juggle, if we are not smart with how we use our time, we won't be able to do all the things we want to do. And it's as simple as that. So, guys, make sure you plan, make sure you uh, have a structure, and that will get you through majority of the things. It can't get you through everything, probably because there's other, like, frustrations, but majority of times it helps me. Uh, but yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to end the vlog now. Before I end it, make sure you guys enter the giveaway for the Sensor Lean giveaway. This is number one out of two. Uh, later one will come uh, um, later on down the line towards the end of Ramadan. But make sure you check it out. Uh, check out the giveaway. Like Sensor Lean, like me. And comment uh, in my DMs on Instagram that you've done that. And you will be entered automatically into the giveaway. Uh, and also guys, make sure you donate if you haven't already. Remember, it's 70 times multiplied swab for you guys if you donate during Ramadan. Uh, and we're really doing it for a good cause. We're helping people who don't have water. So guys, with that being said, I shall catch you guys tomorrow with a brand new vlog. But before I go, big shout out to my demand devs because we are sick. We have fun and we take life as it comes. Catch you later guys. Shabaka. Goodbye. Allahu, 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 Allahu,